so this is the next problem here okay here this is one circuit the circuit looks complex but it is very easy if you listen to me you can easily solve it okay so let us solve this problem now using mesh analysis technique okay because we have direct loops here you can see here three different loops again i have told you right in these kind of problems you should be observing the network very carefully which method is uh, applicable to you all to solve that you should solve you can see directly the loops here also if you want you can solve this sum same sum using node analysis also because we have one single node and these four branches are coming through this node okay you can even solve this using node analysis no issue but uh, using mesh analysis the, this problem solving is very easy okay so that's why i'm solving this using mesh analysis okay so now first i'll write the equations of y parameter so that you won't be getting confused plus y12 v2 then we have i2 is equal to y21 v1 plus y22 v2 okay so i've written it here like this so that you won't be getting confused now let us start solving first apply uh, k kvl at loop i1 okay and let us see what would be happening since this are uh, uh, looking like loops so let us solve now and we should be getting these two equations okay keep it in mind we should be getting in terms of these two equations so that we should be getting the values of all the parameters so keep it in mind and solve keeping that in mind okay i'll tell you how first apply loop analysis here that is uh, outward sign is plus v1 then we have minus 8 i1 then we have this resistor minus 2 into i1 plus i2 y plus i2 because these two are having same directions here the loop directions are having same so that's why it is plus i2 equal to 0 now solve this v1 minus 8i1 minus 2i1 minus 2i2 equal to 0 what would be getting v1 minus 8 minus 2 is minus 10i1 minus 2i2 equal to 0 so v1 we would be getting it as bring these two terms to other side we would be getting plus 10i1 plus 2i2 okay we got this one equation okay name this as some equation 1 and this equation is very important i'm going to tell you how in the later stage now so here in this problem we have one dependent source here if you have observed that we have skipped right let us take that now into the picture we have one dependent source so what we can do is since this is a current source current control current source and this current i is traveling through this 8 ohm resistor okay i forgot you to mention that is this i is equal to since this is uh, it is traveling to this 8 ohm resistor so we can write i is equal to i1 right also the loop current i3 is equal to 2 i1 why because this i3 and 2i are the same current so that's why we can directly write i3 is equal to 2 times i it is actually i3 is equal to 2i which you know which we know that the value of i is i1 since this i is traveling to this 8 ohm resistor in this circuit so that's why we can conclude that i3 is equal to 2i1 right so that uh, keep it in mind write it because we are going to use it in the later stages now after that apply kvl for loop i2 that is start from this v2 part that is plus v2 then we have minus 4 into since i4 is between these two loops but these are having the same directions if you observe here so that is i2 plus i3 right but what is the value of i3 here we have i2 plus i3 but the value of i3 here is 2i1 so i2 plus 2i1 in place of i3 i have written 2i1 that's it then next is minus 2 into i2 plus i1 is equal to Zero. Why plus? Because again, these two ohms between these two loops and same direction, so that's why plus. So now solve this. V two minus four i two minus two i one minus two i two minus two i one minus uh, sorry four two is a eight, right? Is equal to zero. So V two. Then we have minus eight i one minus two i one. That is minus ten i one. 
minus 4 uh, sorry minus 4 minus 2 that is minus 6 i2 is equal to 0 so v2 we would be getting it as bring these two terms to the other side that is 10 i1 minus would be becoming plus so 10 i1 plus 6 i so this is the second equation we got name it as equation 2 but here now our goal here is to not to find the equation in terms of v1 and v2 this is not z uh, z what to say z parameters this is y parameters so we should be finding the equations in terms of i1 and i2 with the, the independent variables as v1 and v2 so now what we can do is just simplify do simple max that is consider this equation 2 or you can consider equation 1 and solve it is left to you equation 2 what it will be becoming is bring this 6 i2 or 10 i1 to one side okay uh, because we are solving for i1 and i2 so now let us i am considering now i2 in the picture so what i am doing is this is equation 2 in this 6i2 i am bringing it to one side and rest all the terms i am keeping into other side so what this would be happening v2 minus 10 i1 right so now i2 would be equal to 1 by 6 v2 i am dividing 6 to this equation minus 10 by 6 i1 okay so this is the value of i2 now what I am doing is, this i2 is there right, this I am substituting the this i2 value in equation 1 because if we substitute this value in equation 1, we would be left with the terms v1, i1 and v2 because we need to find the value of i1 here. I am going to find the value of i1 so that I am written this equation. If I substitute this i2 equation in this equation, we would be left with i1 term and v1 along with v2 terms. i1, v1 and v2 terms in one equation. After that, solve it and bring i1 to one side and then get this equation. Okay, let us see that how. Now substitute i2 in equation 1. So what is our equation 1? v1 is equal to 10 i1 plus 2 i2. Right. You should be very careful by solving this is um, mathematics is involved now now 10 i1 plus 2 into what is the value of i2 1 by 6 v2 minus 10 by 6 i1 right so now v1 is equal to 10 i1 2 ones are 2 2 by 6 v2 then plus minus minus 2 tens are 20 by 6 i1 so v1 would be equal to 10 minus 20 by 6 that is 60 10 6 is 60 minus 20 by 6 that is equal to 40 by 6 or we can reduce it to the and write it as 20 by 3 so we would be getting 20 by 3 i1 and plus 2 by 6 v2 right now bring i1 term to one side and v1 and v2 term to one side that is 20 by 3 i1 is equal to v1 minus 2 by 6 v2 now what i am doing 20 i1 is equal to i am dividing 3 to this whole equation so now what this would be becoming 1 by 3 v1 minus 2 by 6 divided by 3 that is this 3 would be becoming 1 by 3 and this would be 2 by 18 v2 okay hope this is clear how i have done it Then you can reduce it and write it as 2 1s are 2 9s are that is 20 i1 is equal to 1 by 3 v1 then minus 1 by 9 v2. Now i1 is equal to I am dividing this 20 now. Okay. So sorry we should be cross multiplying this right. So sorry. One mistake I've done. So here this 3 we should not be dividing here because this is divided by 3 here only. So this 3 we should be cross multiplying here. So, so sorry for that. So 20 by 1 is equal to this 3 should be cross multiplying to this whole equation. So this would be 3 v1. Then we have minus 3 to the 6 by 6 v2 that is 1 v2. So 20 i1 is equal to 3 v1 minus v2. Now we should divide 20 that is 3 by 20 v1 minus 1 by 20 v2. Okay, so sorry. So this is the equation i1 in terms of v1 and v2 we have solved it. So here the y parameters are y1 is y11 is equal to 3 by 20 
and y12 is equal to minus 1 by 20. So sorry for this mistake guys, I've done, I've told you right, max is involved, you should not be making any mistake. So I had made a mistake, so that's why I've got wrong also. So I've corrected it. Now, what we should be doing is, now, uh, very simple. Now consider, we have solved for i1. Now similarly, you should be solving for i2. Now consider again equation 1, that is v1 is equal to 10i1 plus 2i2. Now this equation is there right, we have written this equation in terms of i2. Now this same equation here, I am going to write this equation in terms of i1 now. Okay, this equation, that is equation 2 here. What is equation 2? v2 is equal to 10i1 plus 6i2, right. This equation I am writing in terms of i1 now. That is 10i1 is equal to v2 minus 6i2. So that is i1 would be equal to 1 by 10 v2. Okay. Then we have minus 6 by 10 i2. Correct, right? Again I have made one mistake. Why I am solving for i1 here? Already I have got the value of i1, right? So that's why. No need to solve for i1. Directly substitute this value of i1 in this whatever we have got here. That only substitute here. Okay. That is 10 into 3 by 20 v1 minus 1 by 20 v2. So sorry guys. I am in a hurry. So that's why I am making mistakes. Plus 2 i2. Okay. So now that is equal to v1. Then 10 3s are 30 by 20 v1 minus 10 by 20 v2 plus 2 i2 so this is you can uh, cancel the zeros so v1 is equal to 3 by 2 v1 minus 1 by 2 v2 plus 2 i2 so now bring this i2 term to one side that is 2 i2 that is equal to bring these two terms to other side that is v1 minus 3 by 2 v1 plus 1 by 2 v2 that is 2 i2 is equal to so 1 minus 3 by 2 right that is equal to 2 minus 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 that is minus 1 by 2 v1 plus 1 by 2 v2 now divide 2 to this equation that is i2 is equal to minus 1 by 4 v1 plus 1 by 4 v2 so in this way we have got i2 in terms of v1 and v2 so that's why our value of y21 is equal to minus 1 by 4 and y22 is equal to plus 1 by 4 so now our final matrix would be looking like this. I am writing it here. Y11 is 3 by 20. Y12 is minus 1 by 20. Y21 is minus 1 by 4. Y22 is 1 by 4. So this is our final answer for Y parameters. Okay. Hope this is clear. Okay. I have made a lot of mistakes. So sorry for that. But I have corrected it and solved it. Okay. So hope this problem is understood to you all. That's all for this session guys. Like, share, subscribe to our channel and uh, share these videos regularly to all your friends and uh, be updated to our channel guys. Thank you.